All right, we are over in Unreal Engine for part three of this tutorial series on USD, Universal Scene Description, a fantastic collaborative file tool with Unreal Engine and Blender, and we're working with NVIDIA. I've got my dual 4090s ready to go to create some awesome stuff here, and this is the last step of the process. I use Unreal Engine to stage a lot of my scenes, get the nice lighting locked in, and what's really cool about Unreal is you can actually connect to it with your phone and use your phone in the real world as a camera in your Unreal scene. I'm not gonna go into details on how to set that up. There's plenty of tutorials out there to do that, but this is very flexible. It's all real-time rendering, which is fantastic. The results always look awesome with Unreal Engine, and I use it for a lot of my projects, both for my freelance and also for my main job at NASA, just because it's such a powerful tool to really bring your scenes to life, and then also to just have them be so dynamic and interactive in real time. It's so easy as an artist to be able to preview and you see your scenes in real time. I always love the opportunity to do that. So I try to use Unreal as much as possible to create my scenes. So once again, we're gonna be using that USD file that we created in Blender from the last tutorial. That was a really fun kind of little archway, eroded archway scene with some rocks that we're gonna bring into the scene and place right on our beach here. I've set up a level already. Again, this isn't really a tutorial on Unreal Engine in particular. It's mainly on just how I stage these scenes and use USD in my workflow here. So we've got the scene set up. We've got a basic level design here. This is our Unreal scene. You can see I've added some water in. I've got a little beach here and I have kind of a little mountain, a little cliff here with some animated trees. Got a little kind of lighthouse or a bell over here in our ship in the distance. I wanna add in our little scene here. And to do that, I'm gonna bring out my USD stage editor. If you don't see this, you can go to window, USD stage editor, and you can actually just pin this uh, to your uh, drop-down shelf here. So I'm either using my content browser or the USD stage editor the most, and you know, I'm just using it to bring in objects, like I drop a tree in here, we can move this around in our scene. And you know, it's just very easy to have these two handy up here for you. So in our USD stage editor, I'm gonna hit file and then open. And let's bring up that scene from before. So file, open, and we've got our archway beach scene. I'm gonna hit open, I'll take a second to process in here, and it'll add it to our USD stage. And there we go, we have our USD scene, it's imported in, it's kind of massive here, so we're gonna have to scale this down, but you can see it brought in everything here, including the lights in our scene. Uh, these lights are a little bit hot in here, uh, so we might actually wanna kind of reduce the intensity on these a bit over in Blender, or maybe I wanna change the color actually too. So I'm looking at these, I'm like, yeah, I kinda of don't like the gold as much. Let's make this uh, like a blue or something like that. Uh, let's, so let's really crank this blue up for that one. Let's do the same deal for this one or something as well. So we got these kind of spooky blue lights here. And so I'm gonna go over and once again, file export USD. And let's just overwrite that scene. I'll take a second to save out. And if I go back over to Unreal Engine, you can see it has not updated yet here because actually I have to manually go over and hit file and then hit reload. I'll take a second to process those changes, uh, which was just changing the light in our scene. And just like that, it has updated the lights in our scene. You can see it is this now really cool blue here in our render. It looks fantastic. So it's over here in Unreal Engine now, so I can actually just play around with this and move it around. And I actually don't want this environmental light here, so I'm actually just gonna delete that. And you know what, let's actually add in different point lights. I, this is just kind of a demo, just showing how you can bring those in. I actually wanna use some lights here in Unreal. Those are just kind of, just to show you how you can do that kind of stuff, if you're looking at that. And what's super cool is you can now see this is interacting actually with the water in my scene. It's really fantastic. It interacts with that beach too, as I kind of bring it up. You can see the terrain is looking fantastic. So this is why I like Unreal. It's just so easy to stage stuff so quickly here and really just get to a final uh, just that much quicker than Blender. And it's all responsive in real time here too. So I have this set up kind of where I want it. So let me rotate this around here. You can see I want this to kind of lead into the beach a little bit here. So we've got this kind of built partially into the cliffs, partially in the beach, and you can see it's really nicely kind of blending in underwater there. So I kind of gonna bring this right up against the coastline, maybe lift this up a little bit more. So you kind of see that part of the water of that beach there still. Let's rotate this in a little bit here too. So we got this nice scene here built into the cliff of our render. That's looking fantastic. Let me actually, and you can kind of remove parts of the scene too here as well. So if I have this plane here, maybe I don't want the plane. I can uh, 
just take that out of the scene. If I don't want it, boom, it's gone. So now I just have just this stuff here because I was noticing the plane was kind of coming in slightly strange over in that part there. So I can just get rid of that if I want as well. You know, and it's very easy to just move things around and adjust stuff in your scene. It's nicely kind of organized as you have it labeled. And again, these labels are kind of important for you too. Remember, these had a, a nice name over in Blender. It's very important to kind of keep an eye on those just so you know what you're doing here. So I've also set up a camera too here. So if I go to my Cine Camera Actor, and if I use this tiny little thing down here, this pin preview, it'll just pin it to where my camera is and you can see it floating up here. If I kind of move this over to the left and then down a bit, you can kind of see that scene here. I've designed this as if this is for Instagram or something like that, kind of a vertical format, but you can see just how nicely this is blending into our scene, this uh, kind of cool archway over here. And you know, if I click on an object, if I want to blend this in a little bit better with the rest of my scene, I can select on the cliff with Alt selected, you can just drag this out and it just made a duplicate of this mountain. Uh, so you can easily make duplicates. Again, I just hit Alt, drag, there it is again. I do that all the time to kind of just duplicate things really quickly and just kind of kit bash stuff together. Um, I've set up a world material so that all these blend in very easily with the water, with the coastline. So as I kind of move them around, you'll notice the material bottom part actually, this part here kind of darkens a bit here. Um, so it actually blends in really nicely with our scene. So you can kind of just see how that's working. And I just wanted to do this just to blend the edges a little bit better of our little castle kind of oasis thing here, just so that it blends a little bit better with the rest of the coastline of my scene. So I got some of these other rocks here. I'm gonna bring this one over here. Maybe kind of just bring that up a little bit on the edge. Um, but this is looking fantastic already. And you can just see how quick that was. Just bringing our scene over from Blender, it already plays so well in Unreal Engine. And you're very close already to a final render, just like that. So I'm gonna keep kind of moving these around and let's actually add in some trees and stuff too. So let me just jockey back over to the content browser. I've got these, these actually come from the Unreal Engine marketplace. They're free, uh, they're this rural Australia tree pack. You can just download that and then add it to your project. And so I've added this already to my project. And so then I can just bring these trees over and they're nicely animated too. So you can kind of just add them into your scene. Um, let's add in, I don't know, a different tree or something. So we got these large trees. Maybe we add in this large static mesh tree. It's a little bit too large. So I'm just gonna hit R and then scale this down a little bit and then kind of bring this back over here. Um, kind of blend that a little bit into the cliff face potentially there too. So you got this kind of nice entrance here. And I really wanna draw your eye into this scene here as well. And so let me actually add in some details that will allow me to do so. Um, so let me actually move this rock over a little bit here. So you kind of blend in that hard edge you see of the rock vegetation here. Let me just grab this it's at a slightly strange angle. Pull that up there and we have our rock in the scene over here. You can see this is looking pretty cool. Okay, so let's actually add in some lights here. So I actually make little folders for my lights just to kind of keep things nicely organized and I'm just gonna use a point light for this one here. So in order to add in a point light, you can go to the quick add uh, toolbar here hit the drop down and then lights, and I'm gonna select that point light for this one. So I've added in this point light in our scene and it's already looking pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna wanna adjust the kind of the fall off of this. You see this big kind of sphere around it and also the color of it as well. I want this kind of, you know, fluorescent white here. I wanna kind of have it like a nice candlelight almost here and have it once again, where we placed that before in our cool kind of archway there. Let me just place that right in the middle of the archway so you get this nice kind of glow there. And then if I go, let me pull this down a little bit here. If I go into the light uh, intensity, you can see, you can adjust just how bright it is. I want it to be too bright. Let me maybe pull this down to like a one there. The light color I want it to be kind of like a nice orangish glow here. So I'm gonna kind of up the saturation a little bit uh, till I get to a place where I like it. Almost like orangish there, that looks pretty nice. And then the attenuation radius, I want it to be a lot smaller. I don't want it to be so huge like that. Let's kind of bring it down a little bit there. So you can see how that looks. It's already looking a lot nicer, kind of blends in really nicely into the scene. And again, you can just hit Alt and click on this to duplicate it. So we have a second one of these lights. I'm just gonna drag this one back to kind of this back archway part here. So you kind of have it in the back of the scene. Looking nice. So let me actually move my camera over here. Originally I had set it up on this cliff just cause I was kind of zooming along a little pathway created there. Um, oops, that's the level sequence actually. I want my Cine camera actor, which is over here. I'd set this up a little bit further away. So let me actually bring this in as if you're kind of going in a boat or something up to this coastline here. 
I'm gonna move this camera over here. You can see that view is looking really cool. So it's as if you're kind of like approaching this like coastline, you know, on a deserted, seemingly deserted beach, but it's actually got this maybe hidden place you're walking into. Um, so it's super cool looking. And so we can add in a couple more things here too. Let me just add in like a log or something in here on the beach. All these little details and stuff to kind of really bring the scene to life. And you can see just how well that worked already. I mean, you just brought this in from Blender. It's very quick to get this looking already in a very good place. And yeah, we should call this scene here. I think this is at a good place. I really like this. I would at this point set up my camera uh, animation and have this get ready to render the individual frames out for compositing. Uh, but we're looking really awesome. And one piece of advice I always have for artists is to revisit old scenes that you put together with a fresh set of eyes. I think it's always helpful to come back with a new perspective on your scenes and also a new skill set. Like for example, USD. <laughs> I hope you learned some tips and tricks from how to use this in your workflow, whether it be from Blender to Unreal Engine, vice versa, maybe even some other software in the mix. Have fun messing around, moving files back and forth. My advice again is to always just experiment. Take the time to just really dive into the tools and see what you can do. Excited to see what you come up with and thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial series with NVIDIA. I'll see you on the next one.